In games like Counter-Strike or Overwatch, the game mode that the main bulk of the community plays and the game mode played in competitive leagues is the same. Team Fortress 2 isn't like that. While the majority of people are mainly familiar with the game for its 12v12 casual mode, if you want to play competitively, you're going to have to choose between a series of different formats. I'll be going through these formats from most popular to least popular, giving you an overview of their rule sets and some basic meta. Note, I am not myself a competitive player at this time. This video is more so supposed to serve as a brief introduction to competitive formats rather than an in-depth look at each one. Starting off we have Sixes. Sixes is the standard competitive format for TF2. If you see a famous pro player like Banny, this is probably the format they play. These teams typically consist of one medic, one demo man, one pocket soldier whose job is to stick close to the medic to protect them and build uber, one roamer soldier whose job is to roam around the map attacking the enemy team, one pocket scout who again sticks by the medic, and one flank scout, who flanks around the enemy to catch them off guard and pick off stragglers. Teams may also switch one player to a different class, like sniper, heavy or engineer in certain tactical situations, usually to hold their last point, which is called off-classing. The combination of the medic and at least one power class is called the combo. 6v6 has class limit. Teams may not have more than one medic or one demo. All other classes are generally limited to two per team, although this can change depending on the particular league's rule set. Matches are generally played on Control Point, sometimes called 5CP, or King of the Hill, sometimes called Koth, maps. Certain game mechanics that are affected by RNG, like random critical hits and random weapon spread, are disabled. This generally holds true for all competitive game modes from now on. The medic is by far the most important player in a Sixes team, and Ubercharge is the meta centralizing mechanic. Killing, or dropping, the enemy's medic is therefore a very desirable and hype moment in a Sixes match because it resets their uber and leaves them without heals for some time. Dropping a medic is often enough to secure a push or hold. Not every weapon is allowed in competitive play, usually because certain weapons are considered overpowered, unbalanced, or have some sort of bug relating to them. But the specific weapon ban lists change from league to league, so I'll leave some resources in the description if you want more information about that. Again, banning certain weapons is typical in many competitive formats. Highlander Highlander is the second most popular competitive game mode. It's a 9v9 format where teams must have one player of each class. Scout sticks to the flanks to clean up low health enemies. Soldiers try to take out important targets like an enemy medic. Pyro has the boring job of protecting the combo with air blast and spy checking. Demo Man is the main damage dealer in power class. Heavy protects the medic and heals them with sandwich. Engineer defends points like you would see on a typical casual game. Medic is medic. Sniper tries to pick off enemies from a distance, and Spy goes for backstabs and saps enemy buildings. Overall, class roles aren't too dissimilar from what you'd expect in a typical casual game. Sniper is very important in this game mode, since he can delete enemies from across the map. As well as 5cp and cough, Highlander is also played on payload maps using the stopwatch rule set. While attacking, a stopwatch times how long it takes to capture every point. Once they do so, teams switch sides. Whoever succeeded in the lowest amount of time is awarded the point. These games are most often played in a best of three format. Prolander Prolander, also known as 7v7, is a format which tries to be a middle ground between Highlander and Sixes. Teams are limited to seven players each, and only one of each class is allowed per team. There is much more variation in team composition in this game mode compared to Sixes, and classes are switched in and out throughout the game as tactics call for it although you will pretty much always see a medic, demo, scout, and soldier at all times. Part of the goal of Polander is to break up what is seen as a stale meta in sixes, by encouraging more variation in team composition and strategy to catch opponents off guard. As such, it's harder to give a quick overview of the meta. Another consequence of this is a more liberal approach to weapon bans, with a much shorter permanent banned weapon blacklist than other formats. Teams get to pick and ban certain weapons at the start of each map, similar to picking and banning maps or heroes in other competitive games. Like Highlander, maps are played on 5CP, Koth, and Payload. 4v4 Getting slightly more obscure here, the 4v4 game mode is, as you'd expect, four players on each team, with only one of each class, and the additional rule that you may not have a heavy and medic at the same time. Typically, teams consist of a scout, soldier, medic, and demo, although the scout and soldier are commonly switched out within a game depending on what is needed strategically. 4v4 is mostly played on King of the Hill maps, although sometimes 5cp can be played. Compared to other game modes, it's more fast-paced. Ulti Duo 
Ulti Duo, features teams consisting of one soldier and one medic only. It's often used by competitive players to hone their team coordination between their pocket soldier and medic as a sort of training. Almost all weapon unlocks are banned to focus on pure deathmatching skill. Games are played on maps specifically designed for the format. These maps are like small King of the Hill maps, with an emphasis on high ground and fighting over vertical positioning is an important part of the strategy. Rounds last for 5 minutes, with whoever controlled the point for the longest winning. This game mode actually originates from a format called Ultimate Soldier back in Team Fortress Classic. No Restrictions Sixes, Valve Competitive. This is the game mode you'll play if you click the competitive mode from TF2's main menu. It's like regular sixes but without class limits and weapon bans. This leads to a higher variety in strategy, such as teams running two medics, one with Uber and one with Quitzkrieg or Vaccinator, being quite common. But similar to Prolander, it's common for teams to off-class much more than standard sixes depending on the state of the game. This is by design, as organizers for this format actively encourage players to experiment with unorthodox class compositions and strategies. MGE MGE, short for My Gaming Edge, is the main 1v1 format in TF2. Like Ulti Duo, it's often used as a sort of training to improve deathmatching skill. Players spawn in a map which is usually a small section of an existing popular map and try to frag each other. Each time the enemy dies grants you one point and the first to 20 points wins. The only classes allowed are Soldier, Demo Man, Scout, and Sniper. B-Ball. This is quite a different format. B-Ball is a basketball game mode for TF2, where teams of two soldiers each must take the intelligence to the opposing team's basket on a recreation of a basketball court. Similar to MGE, it's useful for practicing deathmatching and rocket jumping skills. Almost all weapon unlocks that differ from stock are banned. RSP. Getting even lower in the iceberg chart, we have RSP, which stands for Ready Steady Pan. In this 6v6 format, players are only allowed to use the Frying Pan as their main damage dealing weapon. Engineer and Spy are banned as they cannot equip the Frying Pan. Medic and Heavy are banned because their high effective health makes them unfun to play against. Sniper is limited to one per team since Jurati is very powerful. While this is a bit of a meme format, it also serves as a low stakes introduction to sixes and coordinated competitive play, and there have been at least seven known tournaments played, although it's fallen out of popularity in recent years. Items which increase mobility such as the Rocket Jumper, Sticky Jumper, and Thermal Thruster are very important, as being able to close distance is key in a melee only game mode. Honestly, this format is surprisingly fun to watch, and I would love to play it someday if the opportunity arises. Night Comp. Night Comp is a 6v6 game mode in which each team may only run one medic, one soldier, and an unlimited amount of demo knights. No other classes are allowed, and no sticky bombs are allowed of any kind. This format was invented due to the lackluster performance of the demo knight subclass in other competitive formats. Because of the reliable presence of medic heals, iron bomber and loose cannon jumping are more viable in this format than they are in casual and that combined with the mobility options afforded by Trimping makes this game mode quite movement heavy and fast paced. Players still take on various roles similar to normal sixes, with the soldier and demo's different shields allowing for a variety of playstyles. Off Class 6v6 This format is identical to the standard sixes rule set, but scout, soldier and demo man are all banned. This leads to a much different meta compared to normal sixes and is more meant to be an experimental format just to see what would happen rather than a serious competitive game mode. Ulti Trio. This is Ulti Duo, but with the addition of a scout on each team. Pretty self explanatory. This format focuses very heavily on team coordination, since any individual player stands little chance on their own separated from their teammates. Also, like Ulti Duo, success in Ulti Trio depends heavily on deathmatching ability. It is played on maps specifically designed for the game mode, as well as certain Ulti Duo maps. The addition of a third player allows for pincer like moves, with one damage class pushing either side of the enemy to force them back. The weapon ban list is more liberal than that of Ulti Duo, allowing for more tactical gameplay, such as scouts using the Fan of War to mark players for Soldier to finish off. Get it on! This is a 6v6 in Medieval mode. If you're familiar with Medieval mode, the same rule set applies. Since medics can't build Uber and it's a melee focused game mode, matches tend to be more like a chaotic free for all compared to other formats, although that's not to say that there's no strategy and team coordination involved. The same class limits as standard 6s apply. There has only been one tournament held for Get It On. Heavy Boxing. And finally, the National Heavy Boxing League. Heavy Boxing is a 1v1 game mode where two heavies fight using only melee in a recreation of a boxing ring. Players are not allowed to jump, crouch, use sandwich, 
taunt, or basically do anything other than box their opponent. Whoever kills the other wins. The National Heavy Boxing League has ceased operations as of 2021. That's every competitive TF2 format I could find the information on. If you're wondering why some of the sound editing is weird in the Ulti Duo and Ulti Trio segments, it's because I accidentally wrote and said Util Duo and Util Trio in my script, because that's what I've been calling it in my head since I found out about it, because apparently I'm dyslexic now. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and that was informative. Uh, subscribe for more Source Engine related content that I apparently make now, and uh, have a good day.